Here's a wild tour story. Just, you know, hanging out with my mom, going to the movie theater, to City Walk to watch a movie. There were just hundreds of fans that ended up showing up. I mean, I had sent a tweet like, hey, I'm gonna go watch a film with my mom. I had no idea that this whole location thing existed at that time. Pretty much pinpointed exactly where we were at as far as City Walk in Los Angeles. And we shut down the whole City Walk. There was hundreds of girls, hundreds of girls. Like, we packed up the movie theater. There was only a certain amount of tickets that could be sold in that, in that whatever film that we were watching. So there was girls buying just a random movie ticket, but actually bum rushing, trying to get inside the theater we were at. Every single person in there hated me. You know those people that like, when you talk during the movie, they're like, <sighs> like there was so many of those, so many. They hated me. They wanted me out of that damn movie theater. It got to the point where security came. They figured out, all right, who's the cause of all of this? And we got in trouble and they said not to come back. They told us that we were not allowed to do this unless we have a permit. And I'm like, we were just going to theaters. Like, how should we have a permit to just go anywhere? It's, you know, little things like that. Like, I, I love it. I love it, man, because I mean, the Jackson 5 had to go through that all the time. The Beatles had to go through that all the time. And I mean, you know, you can't get mad at a fan for being overexcited to just see somebody who, who inspires them. So little things like that, I, I love. Plus, we were used to getting so much money that I ain't want to go back to the backpack thousand dollars show. That's great that you find me attractive, but I root myself and I pride myself more on the fact that I'm intelligent, I'm actually talented, and I'm probably one of the coolest people you're ever going to meet. There's a funny side to me. For so long, it didn't come out because it was just like, yo, I'm from Brooklyn and I'm tough and I'll punch you in your face, which is absolutely true to this day. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. That doesn't mean I do reggaeton. You know what I'm saying? I, I barely speak Spanish like that. Like, I, I make music that sounds like Gangstar, like Mob Deep, Wu-Tang. Like, that's, that's, that's what I do. 